Mm-hmm. So I think the institution of church is whack. I mm-hmm. think how church is ran is whack. Hey guys, welcome to Bury and Babs Ben the Now. I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. Today, I want to share a quick video with you about Ty Tribute. He decided to go to the Breakfast Club, uh, a pagan radio station, and slander the Bride of Christ. Ty Tribute professes to be a Christian. He's an artist. He's a musician. So uh, it's very difficult to find these videos, but I'll uh, play the video uh, for you guys. That way you can hear what he was saying. Okay, so I present to you... Uh, Tie tribute. Here we go. It's a system now. Oh God. It's a system. Everything is a system. And systems work with or without God. Mm-hmm. So I think the institution of church is whack. I mm-hmm. think how church is ran is whack. I think the religious system and structure is whack. I don't subscribe to it, even though I grew up in it, I benefited from it, but I learned that God is not the church. And once right. I realized, whoa. God ain't church. That mm-hmm. uh, for me, you know what I mean. I ain't from the streets. I'm from the church. So that was a huge thing as well. It's in the yeah. Bible. It says you can't even find God in a man-made temple. Why? Mm-hmm. Why don't we read that though? Mm-hmm. How? How often do you hear that sermon? No, you hear co- people. Pastors make the people about the church. We got the church name. We church and the church and the bumper sticker. The church. The church. <laughs> the church should be about the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the church yeah. should be about the people. But yeah. the church makes the people about the church. So all churches now are a movement, but they're not about the people they're not about serving and loving the people so that's uh that's him tight tribute he went to uh the breakfast club and decided to slander the church the breakfast club they're not christians okay they could care less about the church but what is what would be the point for somebody who professes to be a christian to go to pagans and then you are busy out there to slander the bride of christ and he's just referencing like, oh, the church is not the people. The church is a building. He has no understanding what a church is. There is no way you can be, uh, you can love Jesus and hate the church because the two go together. Jesus died for his church. So you have no right to be slandering the bride of Christ. Would Ty Tribute uh, appreciate if somebody was slandering his wife, saying those things about his wife? The answer is no. He'll be outraged. He'll be mad and rightfully so. So what gives us... Um, this right that we can say whatever we want however we want whenever it comes to uh the bride of christ huh so uh uh just a quick scripture to share with you uh first timothy 3 14 i hope to come to you soon but i'm writing these things to you so that if i delay you may know how one ought to behave in the household of god which is the church of the living god a pillar and buttress of the truth Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of godliness. He was manifested in the flesh and vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. Now we have somebody who professes to be a Christian going to pagan radio stations and slander the bride of Christ on what basis, on what reason? And on that program, they went on to uh, give a shout out to uh, Sarah Jex, T.D. Jex, because apparently that, those are the ministries uh, that um, Charlemagne listens to. So those are false teachers. Ty should have used that opportunity to correct the record, to guide him in a, in a correct direction to people that he can listen to, to give him a Bible, to show him the truth to preach the gospel to him because this was the subject they're talking about the church so he was within his right within the territory to proclaim christ you know how many millions listen to the breakfast club so Ty tribute just lost an opportunity to share to to share the love of god to share christ but to slander christ and getting some love from the pagans so who's looking foolish now hmm? who's looking foolish now so uh, i employ you Ty tribute that it is uh you you should issue a statement and correct the record and repent of this issue because this is not the time to be slandering christ this is not the time to be slandering the bread of christ this is a time where christians we are to stand to shine as a light not to go in and participate in the deeds of darkness i don't think uh uh that is uh, uh that is good at all 
So just another scripture over here, First Timothy uh, 1.18. This charge I entrust to you, Timothy, my child, in accordance with the prophecies, prophecies previously made about you, that by them you may wage the good warfare, holding faith and good conscience. By rejecting this, some have made shipwreck of their faith. Among them are Hamanias and Alexander, whom I have handed over to Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. I have noticed that right now, uh, people just blaspheme. Anyhow, it's not a big deal, okay? It is a big deal. The Lord God is not pleased with this type of behavior. So I hope Thai Tribute will correct the record, will repent of this issue, and any, next time, let's use this as an opportunity to learn. You have an opportunity to go in this hostile environment, to go in this pagan environment. This is a time for you to be able to shine the light of Christ. To shine the light of Christ. So that way you can be pleasing to God, not pleasing to the church. But I'm interested to know what you guys think about this tight tribute thing. Are we making a big deal about it? Or is it just nothing? We, keep move on. We, we just keep moving. Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.